Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you CityAccessMath.com, which is a great tool for students to use to figure out which cities in the world are 15 minute cities. And what is a 15 minute city, you ask? Well, according to CityAccessMath.com, it's a city in which people can walk to all the resources they need within 15 minutes. Let's go ahead and take a look at how it works. You can start by just scrolling across the top and then exploring any of the cities that pop up, or you can pan and zoom around the world and click on different places to explore, or just go up here and do a search for a city like Boston, Massachusetts, which is the city closest to me that qualifies to be included in this map. And that's because the city needs to have at least half a million people in its immediate area in order to be listed in city access map. Now you'll notice I, on this heat map, as I move my cursor around, we'll see a little graph of the resources that are available and the time it would take from that place to get to those resources. And as you might expect, the further we get from the city center, the fewer resources there are that qualify within that 15 minute limit. Now you can also go over here to this left hand side and choose the kinds of services that you think are important. And so if you don't want to include cities, nightclubs, and theaters, you can turn that down. And you can lower the importance of parks, stadiums, and gyms if you want. And then apply those filters, and a new heat map will be generated based on the filters that you've created. And we can see there's my new heat map. Now, to, do, to use this, the city has to have at least 500,000 people. But this inspired an idea for me to have students figure out how many services are within a 15 minute walk of where they live, even if they don't live in a big city. So I'm just gonna take Portland, Maine here, for example, and I'm gonna click kind of in the center of it and do a right click and look for directions from here for let's say a grocery store. And I happen to know the name of a grocery store in the area and we'll see it's a 15 minute trip by public transit. By driving it's eight minutes and by walking it's almost an hour. Now there may be other grocery stores closer by and so that's a challenge for your students to figure out what resources are available within a 15 minute walk. You do a similar thing with Bing Maps. Again, just right click and choose directions to, and then put in, in this case, supermarket, but you could look for other resources. And the nice thing about Bing Maps is it will show me all at once. It's a 10 minute drive, a 34 minute walk, and 11 minutes via public transit. That's an idea that all started from cityaccessmap.com, which I learned about on the Maps Mania blog, linked up in the description down below. If you're really into maps, the Maps Mania blog is a great blog to bookmark. And as always, for more things like this, please visit freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.